Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 13th of March, 2019. I'm going to attach a couple of links. One of the links is an article on the Sacramento Bee, which I'm going to talk about. And the other link shows you the costs associated with having somebody incarcerated. And that would include all the costs uh, that are piled up based on all the appeals that these inmates try to get executed by their attorneys. Governor Gavin Newsom to stop death penalty in California, giving reprieves to 737 death row inmates. Each one of these death row inmates, they cost 1.26 million a year. The ones that are just incarcerated cost $740,000 a year, again with all the appeals. Governor Gavin Newsom is putting a moratorium on the death penalty in California, sparing the lives of more than 700 death row inmates. You think those death row inmates spared the lives of those that they murdered, which is why they're there? Huh? Governor Newsom's a complete jackass. Newsom plans to sign an executive order Wednesday morning granting reprieves to all 737 Californians awaiting execution a quarter of the country's death row inmates. Hmm. His action comes three years after California voters rejected an initiative to end the death penalty, instead passing a measure to speed up executions. Hmm. Newsom says the death penalty system has discriminated against mentally ill defendants and people of color. Well, that's because people of color commit most of the crimes. It has not made the state safer and has wasted billions of taxpayer dollars. According to prepared remarks, Newsom plans to deliver Wednesday morning when he signs the order. You want to take a look at the photograph of one of these death row inmates with tattoos all over his face. Our death penalty system has been, by any measure, a failure, Newsom plans to say. The intentional killing of another person is wrong. And as governor, I will not oversee the execution of any individual. I wonder what he would say if his wife got raped and murdered by one of these savages, huh? California has not executed anyone in more than a decade because of legal challenges to the state's execution protocol. Those legal challenges are made by whacked out left-wing Democrats. But executions for more than 20 inmates who have exhausted their appeals could have resumed if those challenges were cleared up. And Newsom, he said, he worried that it could happen soon. Newsom has been a longtime opponent of the death penalty. Hmm. While campaigning for a measure to repeal the death penalty in 216, he told the Modesto B editorial board he would be accountable to the will of the voters if he were elected governor. Now, back in 216, was he under alcohol treatment? Huh? Quote, I would not get my personal opinions in any way of the public's right to make a determination of where they want to take us on the death penalty, he said. The moratorium will be in place for the duration of Newsom's time in office. The governor's office said after that, a future governor could decide to resume executions. California is one of 31 states with capital punishment in recent years. Other states have abolished the death penalty, and several other governors have placed a moratorium on executions. The California Constitution gives the governor power to grant reprieves to inmates, providing he reports his reasoning to the legislature. But Newsom's actions will anger death penalty proponents. The voters of the state of California support the death penalty. This is powerfully demonstrated by their approval of Proposition 66 and 216 to ensure the death penalty is implemented. And their rejection of measure to end the death penalty in 216 and 206 said Michelle Hensey, president of the Association of Deputy District Attorneys, in a statement late Tuesday. Governor Newsom, who supported the failed initiative to end the death penalty in 206, is usurping the express will of California voters and substituting his personal preference via this hasty and ill-considered moratorium of the death penalty. Preventing executions through a blanket action is an abuse of the governor's power. Death penalty supporters Ken Schlichtinger told the Bee in an interview earlier this month 
The government's clemency powers are designed to correct individual cases of injustice, said Klissenberg, legal director for the Criminal Legal Foundation. It's not supposed to be a weapon for blocking the enforcement of the law that the people have passed just because the governor disagrees with it, Schlesinger said. Yeah? Who are you going to go to, Schlesinger? There's no one to go to. In addition to the moratorium, Newsom's order will also withdraw California's legal injection protocol and close the execution chamber at San Quentin, where all death row inmates are imprisoned. Those in death row will remain in prison under the order. His order also points to 164 people who have been freed from death row, and they were found to be wrongfully convicted. It follows Newsom's first executive action related to the clemency request last month when he ordered additional DNA testing in a case of a death row inmate, Kevin Cooper. Newsom told reporters last month that the prospect of executions resuming has been weighing heavily on him. I believe, I've never believed in the death penalty for a moral perspective, he said. The disparities are really real and raw to me now as I spend every week working on the issues of parolees and commutations and substantially I see these disparities. Guy's a complete jackass. Like I said, he was a full-blown alcoholic. Now he's governor. And California can't afford multiply the number of inmates on death row by 1.26 million. <laughs> totally insane. But he doesn't care. California is on the verge of bankruptcy anyway. I'll attach the link. You take a look at it. You let me know what you think. Thanks for listening.